You wake up, check your phone, and the financial world has completely exploded overnight. China just dropped a 150% tariff bomb on American technology, a move that's rewriting how global tech is built, traded, and controlled. Here's what really happened while you were sleeping. Those long-brewing trade tensions, they just went nuclear. Earlier this year, Washington thought it could pressure Beijing with massive tariffs on $350 billion worth of Chinese goods, but instead of folding, China flipped the entire game board. This wasn't a counterattack, it, it was a strategic ambush. Semiconductors, EV batteries, high-tech components, China just made them painfully expensive for U.S. firms to access. This isn't political posturing anymore, it's economic warfare, and the fallout is spreading fast. Global supply chains that took decades to build, shattered in a day. The cheap technology we've taken for granted, vanishing. The message from Beijing is crystal clear. There's a new power running the global economy now. But the tariff shock was just the opening act. China's real weapon lies deep underground, in the rare earth minerals that make our modern world possible. You might not think about them, but they're everywhere. In your smartphone, Tesla's battery, fighter jets, wind turbines, satellites. And here's the catch. China doesn't just mine them. It controls over 80% of the world's supply. It's like owning every oil well on the planet, except this is even more vital, because there's no substitute. So when trade tensions hit, China didn't just restrict exports. It weaponized geology. No rare earths means no iPhones, no Teslas, no high-end chips, and no modern military production. Beijing's message? You want a trade war? Fine. Let's see how long your tech industry survives without us. That's when the world realized China's been holding the ultimate economic trump card all along, and now they're finally playing it. Apple, for instance, is in full-blown panic mode. Their sleek all-American iPhones are actually more Chinese than anyone wants to admit. Assembled in China, powered by Chinese components built on a Chinese supply chain perfected over decades, and with those tariffs, Apple's production costs have exploded, up by 10 to 15 percent. That's either a massive loss or a higher price tag for you. Tim Cook is scrambling, moving factories to India and Vietnam, spending billions on training and infrastructure. But experts call it what it really is, panic diversification. Because even with all this movement, China still holds the keys, the specialized parts, materials, and expertise that can't just be copied overnight. Behind the scenes, Apple executives are in crisis mode. Every quarterly meeting feels like a poker game, and they're running out of cards. And it's not just Apple. Elon Musk's European nightmare is unfolding in real time. For years, Tesla built cars cheaply in China and sold them at a premium in Europe. It was genius. Until now. The EU just slapped 35% import tariffs on Chinese-built EVs, a $45,000 Model 3. It now costs $60,000. Sales in Europe plummeted 25% almost instantly. And while Tesla scrambles, Chinese automakers like BYD are thriving. They're setting up factories inside Europe, dodging tariffs completely, and selling cars at prices Tesla can't match. BYD's strategy is brutally simple, build locally, sell cheaply, and dominate globally. In Q2 of 2025, they officially outsold Tesla in Europe, not by accident, by design. The electric car revolution just got a new leader, and it's not Elon Musk. Meanwhile, the European Union's own trade war with China is turning ugly. Their 35% tariff move was meant to protect local jobs, but it triggered an economic chain reaction. China retaliated instantly, targeting German luxury cars and sparking a nationalist backlash online. What started as a trade dispute quickly became a cultural and political standoff. Now even U.S. tech firms are collateral damage. Intel, AMD, Cisco, their products are stuck behind new Chinese red tape. Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure are losing contracts faster than ever before. China's not just retaliating, it's rebuilding an entire technological civilization of its own. AI chips, cloud systems, homegrown operating software, all built to replace Western dependence. This isn't competition anymore, it's replacement. And for Silicon Valley, it's an existential crisis. China used to be their biggest market, now it's a locked vault, and they've lost the key. Across Europe, ordinary consumers are reacting too. Millions are saying, we're done with overpriced American tech. It started as memes and TikToks, but it's now a full-blown consumer revolt. 
40% of European buyers say they're switching away from American brands. This isn't about politics anymore. It's about trust. And once that's gone, no marketing campaign can bring it back. Wall Street is in shock. Apple's stock dropped 8% in a week. Tesla's down 14%. Chip makers and logistics firms are in free fall. But this isn't just a financial dip. It's a complete restructuring of global markets. Supply chains are being redrawn overnight. Factories are moving to India, Vietnam, Malaysia, but none can yet match China's efficiency. Every major company is in survival mode. They're not just relocating, they're rebuilding the global factory from scratch. The result? Higher prices, slower production, fewer launches, and longer waits for everything from your iPhone to your next car. Meanwhile, China's BYD isn't just winning the EV war, it's changing the rules of the entire global market. Affordable, reliable, accessible cars for everyone, while Western companies struggle to even deliver. Global trade experts are sounding alarms. The WTO is warning of a 30% collapse in trade this year. The IMF is openly talking about a potential economic war. Central banks are quietly preparing for emergency interventions. This isn't about tariffs anymore. It's about who controls the next decade of innovation. The U.S. is trying to build a tech ecosystem that doesn't touch China, a strategy they call friendshoring. China, meanwhile, is going full self-reliance, building its own chips, EVs, operating systems, and AI networks. The EU is stuck in the middle, trying to balance politics, economics, and survival. But make no mistake, this is more than a trade war. This is a tectonic shift in global power. The old order is collapsing and a new technological world is being born right in front of our eyes. So the next time your phone costs more, your Tesla delivery is delayed, or your favorite tech brand vanishes from the market, remember this moment. You're not just watching a trade dispute, you're witnessing the rebirth of the global economy.